Now a Target 12 Investigators exclusive, Radio Silence, AM radio. It's been a part of American life for generations. But the next car you buy may not have it. Target 12 Investigator Ted Nisi joins us now with why some worry the trend could jeopardize public safety. When you sit behind the wheel of a Tesla, you'll find everything from a giant touch screen to a self-driving option. But there's one thing you won't find, an AM radio dial. For almost a hundred years, Americans have been able to pass the time behind the wheel listening to AM radio. Those AM stations are still on the air, but fewer people are listening, as we learned when we surveyed local motorists one recent afternoon. I can't remember the last time I listened to AM radio. I think the last time I had, honestly, AM radio was my first car in high school. <laughs> My mother's 1976 Chevette. Do you feel like how much you use AM radio has stayed the same, has gone down? Gone down. Yeah, yeah it has. FM. Yeah. Because yeah. then they got C uh, Siri satellite, your phone, you can use your Bluetooth. Target 12 obtained the latest ratings data from Cumulus, one of the nation's biggest radio station owners. Back in 2018, about 10% of adults listened to AM radio per day. By last year, that was down to only 7%. FM radio has seen a dip too, but remains far more popular, still reaching about 40 46% of Americans daily. To avoid losing listeners, some AM stations now simulcast their signals on an FM station too. Auto manufacturers are seeing the same trends and now some of them are abandoning AM radio in their new vehicles. People are dependent upon AM radio. Massachusetts Senator Ed Markey is leading the fight on Capitol Hill to maintain AM radio in cars. He points out AM not only still has millions of listeners, but also that dozens of AM stations serve as the backbone of the emergency alert system, which is vital when a natural disaster like a hurricane knocks out electricity. So this is a big issue because we can't allow companies like Tesla and Ford to exploit uh, consumers who have been reliant upon AM radio for 100 years, uh, when other auto manufacturers are still going to provide it for free. Tesla didn't respond to Target 12's request for comment. Ford noted that its cars offer various internet streaming options, saying in a statement, quote, Ford will continue to offer these alternatives for customers to hear their favorite AM radio, music, news, and podcasts as we remove AM from most new and updated models we bring to market. Car makers also say electric vehicles pose a specific challenge for AM radio. In a letter to Markey, Tesla says its technology causes, quote, significant interference to AM radio Radio transmissions, but Markey says he doesn't buy it. Technologically, it costs almost nothing uh, to be able to figure out the interference issues. So this is going to be a big battle. More than a half dozen automakers told Markey they do plan to keep providing traditional AM radio in their vehicles. The senator says he plans to hold hearings in the coming months to draw more attention to the issue. With the Target 12 investigators, Ted Nisi, 12 News.